How y'all doing out there? This is Nico B. Black Effect Enterprises. This is another episode of The Black Effect. I want to go ahead and get into this message for the brothers and sisters and give y'all some truth, man. Like, this is especially for the brothers, man. When it comes to any, any woman you see or any black man or any person you see who are who's demonizing you as the black man, you shouldn't take them serious. You know, we already know the history of the black man. We already know that his hit. And I'm talking to the American black man. I'm not talking to, to black people across the world who don't have nothing to do, you know, with nothing. Basically, like they don't have nothing to do with answer with American slavery and the, and the construct of that that was created here. Now, you have some um, countries like Brazil and things like that, um, who was who also had slaves and things. But the point is, is for the American black man, you are double tough, man. Double tough. What do I mean by that is you had you were placed into an impossible situation. For you to even to not only for you to not just be sustaining yourself, having your own things as a uh, and being a model citizen, but thriving and being, you know, and excelling, you know, becoming inventing uh, things over her, becoming creators over her, having a uh, having um being. Having wealth, amassing massive. Look at Wiz Khalifa, Kanye West, uh, Denzel Washington. Look at all of these men. You know what I'm saying? Uh, your Doctor Boyce. You know all of these dudes who came over here and did great things. You know people like you know the brothers, myself. People like Ringo. You know what I'm saying? Who who over here? Are very intelligent people like Tiario. Very intelligent brothers. You know what I'm saying? Some some of the most intelligent brothers on the earth. You understand? These men have done all. These men have taken themselves to the next level through impossible adversity. And the only way that these swirlers, you know, that any black woman, I'm talking to the sisters now, the only way that you could justify getting with your oppressor, we know the horrible history of the Caucasian race. For you to get with your oppressor, the only way you have to do that, the only way you could justify that is to try to demonize the black man. You have to demonize him because honestly, that's the man who hadn't done nothing to be real in America. When you when it comes to the dastardly deeds, when it comes to lying, cheating, killing mass amounts of people, setting people up, when it comes to manipulating uh, whole groups of people and getting them getting them killed, getting them harmed, Monsanto Roundup, when it comes to these companies who who are just dump some in your shit and, and and don't give a damn and just leave, those have not been black men. By and large, the black man has been victimized. He's done. He has been. So it's just like the black woman. All both of you. Like, I don't know why people want to rewrite. Why would you as a black person try to rewrite history? That shows that you have a mental illness. If you don't understand, like this is in history books. Black people in this country have been oppressed, demonized, have been victimized. Have been, you know, basically the, up until a certain amount of time, you weren't allowed the same opportunities as everybody else. So you can't amass on your great your grandmother. Uh, my grandmother, you weren't was not allowed to uh, do the same things that every other woman was allowed to do in her upbringing. My grandfather neither. And they still made a way for themselves. So we for the next generation. Instead of demonize, instead of demonizing them, talking about them, trying to make it seem like they were stupid, why don't you show some appreciation for that? That goes to show you're unappreciative. Also, not only are you, do you have mental illness, you're unappreciative. You know what I'm saying? You don't appreciate anything. You heard these 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 demonic swirling women, these women out here who worship men, uh, worship white skin and things like that. These people. Or come out here and, and all races will come out here racist, you know, will come out and say things like basically trying to make it seem like it was the black man and that fault that he, that slavery occurred out of everything out of every party. It was the black man's fault, you know, and even in though and the women are trying to make it say, like, well, why you didn't fight the man, the man and, and do this if he had have done that, you wouldn't be here today. 
If that if, if that man had stood up and tried to, you know, fight someone with superior weaponry at the time, I'm talking about vastly superior weaponry. You high, I mean, hindsight is twenty twenty, but you have to know history. At the time, that's like let me tell you what that's the equivalent of. That's the equivalent of of a, a alien race of beings coming down here like Thanos being able to just glass planets or, or coming down here like the covenant on Halo. The covenant in Halo, when they came to Earth, they basically came and took what they wanted, enslaved the people, and didn't give a damn because they had superior weaponry. The covenant could, until the... Um, until uh, the humans was able to grab some of that weaponry, attain that, basically integrate that into their system, they had no chance. Same thing with us. We didn't even know how to read, didn't know about these diseases. Same thing with the Indians. The, the, you know, the Caucasian came over here with the Indians. Indians didn't know, they didn't know nothing about all, they was healthy. They didn't have all them diseases. They didn't know nothing about, they didn't have guns. They was hunters. You know what I'm saying? Which is why with the in the Gullah Wars, the blacks came over here and fought with the Indians. You know, the, the we out there in the swamps, and that's where we started winning when we started adopting our own uh, attack practices. But the thing was, not everyone was going to do that. Not all black people, not black, of course, black men, because the women in those times weren't going to do anything. They weren't going to bust a grape in a fruit fight. They would just pray pretty much like the children. The men weren't going to fight and in turn get everybody killed if they weren't sure that they can win. In the Gullah Walls, these men just got when, but they, they messed up by taking everything from the black men. That's why they didn't, that's why they left them on the plantations with their families and things like that. Cause once you just take everything from a man and create, reduce him to being subhuman, it don't matter how much he's, you know, you back him up against the wall. He is eventually, you know, the nigga's gonna gonna fight back. But the black man did not do any of that stuff to himself. Now that doesn't give you an excuse to go around in 2021. I'm not saying that, and saying that you can't do anything or blaming a white man for progress because I just said that even through all of the horrible adversity, even in a time where it was really real, when you know when you had Jim Crow and things like that, you still had black men pro uh, progressing and going around the uh, loopholes and and progressing for their family. And you see that the results of that today are people who have that generational wealth, but generational wealth is accumulated. It matters. So when you hear a black men talking about they owed money, pay them they money that they owe, that matters because that generational wealth would have been accumulated if you had have gave it to our grandfather, our great grandfather. If they had have had the same opportunities, they would have been able to get further and amass more wealth for the family. In turn, I would have had more wealth. Don't act stupid. You owe money. And until that's rectified, it will never be, you know, there will always be a, a underlying, a, a bad spirit that's upon the country that always a divide. But it's very, very it's very sad that you have to be in order to try to big up and you see this man this is when when you get these women trying to they trying to promote swirling relationships they only promote white and black relationship like a white man with a black woman that's all that you know that's all they promoting that's all they own they 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 trying to look at this. They even get with group of men. They even get with men who don't even equate to being good men just because of the skin. I know that rhyme. They get with men who don't equate to being decent men or stand up men, but they'll get with them just because of the skin that they in. And it shows you the mental illness that's taking over the spirit that's taking over all from slavery. These are the same bed wench women who will be. Telling on black people trying to get their freedom, telling on them, telling the master they plans, you know, infiltrating, acting like you with them, acting like you with the people, then going back and behind their back, getting people killed and lynched. You know, those women were horrible. And, and when slavery was over, those people, the like the, 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 um, you seen what happened to Samuel L. Jackson in, in the Django. When, when people got free, those people, they didn't forget about those people. You know, in the same way, we're not gonna forget about these these uh, demonic swirlers in this in this day and age. I'm and I'm talking or divest or divesters. That's what I'm gonna call them. Cause see, the swirler, I don't have a problem with any anybody who's naturally, you know, um, dating interracial dating. I don't have a problem with that because that happens. 
You have people who was raised, black men and women who was raised around nothing but other cultures of people. Who else were they going to date? That's a natural swirl, man. You know what I'm saying? But these divesters trying to run from the heart of the ghetto, being Pookie and Ray Ray baby mama, and then, you know, trying to run and get a lick because they see a lick on the white man. Well, do that and, and quit. Leave our name out your mouth. Do that and quit talking about the black man. For real. Like, leave the black man out of your rhetoric. Because un honest, in all honesty, the black man is the only one who innocent out of all y'all. Now, don't get me wrong, black man. You when, And that's why us as the brothers harp so much on black on black crime. Because everybody, all races of people harm their own race. Whites kill whites. Um, Hispanics kill Hispanics. Chinese kill Chinese. You know, Vietnamese kill Vietnamese. It, it happens like that. You know, because that's what they're around naturally. It's how it happens. How it works. But black, but that's why the black man heart is, is such a cardinal sin for you to harm another black man or another black woman because of your upbringing and your history in America and, your, and the nature of you, the nature of your people and your culture. It's ridiculous for you to do that. It don't make no sense when you know what's being done to you and you're though the reason why you're doing that are the effects of that. You shouldn't like you don't have nothing to do with nothing. You didn't help. You know what I'm saying? You were forced to build this stuff. You were forced to do this. But without your say so without being paid, you know, you but but you did what you had to do. You fought in these wars. Tuskegee Airmen, the first black surgeons. You saw these movies. You, you, but you've done your thing. You've done what you had to do. So don't worry about nothing else. Just sit back and continue to prosper. Don't listen to nothing. Don't listen to nothing. These people don't just go. It's time for us as the black men, the brothers to build on our own. You understand? It's not saying that we ain't we got a problem with anybody else, but it's time for us to do our take back, take our own start fighting for ourselves. Fighting for ourselves, man. You know, we're changing these laws. Fight for ourselves, getting these reparations, man. You owe. You know what I mean? Fight for ourselves. We're holding the standard. I mean, holding standards to the line. Like, you know, man, I'm not sleeping with no other brother wife. You know, I'm not going to even entertain another brother girlfriend if she over there trying to come. Nah, go over there to your man. And if you try to do something and get out of pocket, I'm going to tell him. You know what I'm saying? You ain't getting nothing over here. We need to hold our code, man. You know, get different functions of uh of the brothers. One brother is a lawyer. He function over her and he functioning. And then another brother who's a journalist, he functioning over her. But they all link up. We all link up together. That's what need to go on because I'm going to just keep it real. And this is in stone when it comes to the, the problems over her in, in America, when it comes to the 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 history of uh, lying, cheating and, and everything that other countries of people see that's uh, from this. This whore that is America, the whore that's America, a.k.a. Babylon, we don't have nothing to do with that as the chosen of the most high. We ain't wasn't, we didn't ask to come here. Black men didn't ask to come here. Black men didn't ask to be under your simple laws that allow women to run amok. We didn't come over here, put in God we trust on the money. You know, come over here talking one thing, saying we following the most high and, and, and having standards on, on our spirituality. Then in turn, turn around, give a champ, uh, OK gay marriage in turn, turn around, have all of these professions that are scams, have this this corrupt, put this corrupt system in place that's supposed to be working for people. But in turn, work against them. Put these uh this. These all of these things that that oppress people in place, you know, put these uh man do these dastardly things and wars go and bombing. Black men ain't got nothing to do with that. You saw them, you know, going over there bombing other countries of people, killing all just just droning them to death to hell, going over there doing all that stuff. You saw that movie. Uh, I forget what was the name of that movie. It was a Spike Lee movie where. In the the blacks were fighting in a war they were helping the Americans fight the Germans and in that during that time when uh when the America when the black Americans were over there helping America fight they were still being oppressed in their own country 
they couldn't go to their country and do whatever they wanted, go drink out any, you know, go even go to the same places that white people went to. But they were still over there fighting just as hard, risking their lives to in order to uh, for America and for their brothers and for their sisters. This and while they were doing that, it was a telling part in the movie where they had the there was a uh, I forget this woman's name, but this is historical. Well, you have the women weren't over there. You didn't have women in the military. They weren't fighting. There wasn't no black women over there. There wasn't no white women over there. There were no Hispanic women. It was nothing but me. It was black men who were or had been oppressed, had been lynched, had their people raped, had everything taken from them. They were still over there all giving their lives for their brothers and sisters of all races and creeds. And while they was doing that, there was a woman who was broadcasting um a radio show out during the war she was broadcasting and you can hear her loudly you can hear her talking to the black soldiers trying to turn trying to sway them to turn against they white brothers who they was fought, fighting with in the uh in the army this was true a proven thing and you and the reason why is because she was speaking logic she was saying, damn, a uh, Buffalo soldier, black man, why don't you come over here and go and shoot, you know, shoot dude in the head. Come over here with us. You know, you can because you could get better treatment over here because it ain't shit. You know, you ain't got nothing to come back home to. Why are you doing that? You know, why are you over here fighting for them? That's what that lady was saying, you know, and why she was saying that, man, something you got to imagine the mental toll that it was taking on the brothers. You got to imagine the mental toll, the the spiritual toll, like the man niggas hearts was probably breaking right then and there, but they still was going forward. To, you know what I'm saying? Going, they had a purpose, and they was on the purpose of the Most High of God. The black man is the chosen of God to be the first. He he is proven scientifically the the progenitor, the father, the creator of all of the races. So take some pride, man, out in black man, you know, pump your fist in the air, give some praise to the most high. Don't listen to these women. And I'm talking about any woman out here. Like, don't listen to them. You know, you have, you know, you have to get the knowledge and get on your purpose for the most high God. Get the knowledge from the brothers, from what, you know, the, the credible sources. Study for yourself to show yourself, to show thyself approved. You know, don't turn off all up. Don't turn off a big aspect of your life, which is the spiritual aspect and where you don't have any discernment. Well, you know, you just revert to an animalistic mindset. Don't do that. And just man, just just sit back and let these people do what they do. You know what I'm saying? Let them do what they do because you don't have nothing to do with it, black man. You are innocent and absolved for the sins of America. All of these now, right now, and starting moving forward, we need to rip police and regulate our own. Don't be letting these, you know, your communities get all out of pocket with these drug dealers and niggas selling pills and terrorizing the neighborhood. No, nigga, you go in there, you call it, you police that, you, you know what I'm saying? You go in there talking to them, you go in there calling the cops on them, you go in there stopping and stopping that. We, uh, we, the brothers need to link up and start, I'm talking about in all hubs and we, when it's a problem, need to gather and get together. It's the same way you see those gun groups getting together when it's a problem to go regulate. Same way you see these biker groups getting together when it's a single problem to go regulate. Why can't black black men have done it before? You had the Million Man March. But I'm saying just and we need to start so many pockets. We need to share this videos like this. Start so many pockets to where, to where they're in every city, they're in every community, to where it's groups and of the brothers, the righteous brothers in every city, community, and neighborhood. So where you can, when it's a problem, y'all get together and y'all go regulate. That simple. So I want to. It's no. It's no more time for excuses and and all of that. But when it comes to the history of this country, all of these things that's going on, even the state of the black man and woman today, this was caused and designed. Now, if you if you're ready to get out of it and get on the solutions. Then let's get to the solutions, man. If not, then you can stay reverent in your in in talking about the black man. What happened to you? You can stay in your bitter pain, you know, or talking about you know the white man. What you did, all that stuff. Y'all can have that. 
you know, but we're going to transcend that and move forward. So with that being said, I got to end it, man. You have to demonize the black man who doesn't have any, who's the only innocent man in America. You have to demonize him in order to make your oppressor to justify any type of swirl or divestment activity. I'll say divestment activity. You have to do that to try to make it because you can't make it seem like that the Caucasian man is better than anyone. But you definitely can't make it seem like he's better than the black man. Black man didn't do all these atrocities on the earth and, and nothing like that in America. He just was a victim the same way you were a victim. Point blank, period. That being said, Shaman Nico B, Black Effect. I'm gone.